If you are interested in becoming a doctor, then you have come to the right place. What's up you guys, it's the BA. Welcome to the channel where we cover all things related to careers and academics. Today we're going to be talking about medicine, and more specifically, how you can become a medical doctor in South Africa. Now if you've watched the video on this topic on my channel in the past, keep watching. This is a remake with better visuals, better audio, and more importantly, more accurate information. What is medicine? Medicine is the science and practice of caring for patients. Managing the diagnosis, prognosis, prevention, treatment, palliation of their injury or disease and promoting their health. Medicine encompasses a variety of healthcare practices evolved to maintain and restore health by the prevention and treatment of illness. What are the academic requirements to study medicine in South Africa? Like I always say, it's best to look into the particular university that you are interested in for their specific requirements, but I'll give a general overview. Now, if you are in or coming from grade 12, you are required to have written the National Benchmark Tests, NBTs, and are expected to pass at the intermediate or proficient levels. The subject requirements are as follows, mathematics, life sciences or physical sciences, and English, home language or first additional language, all of which must be passed at 60% or higher. The remaining subjects are required to have been passed at 50% or higher. Let's have a look at the academic journey. Now, medical school in South Africa is a total of six academic years when coming straight from grade 12. If you have another degree, you can get accepted into either second year or third year of medical school, depending on the university that you're applying to and the degree that you hold. Before we go on, let me explain how you can study medicine if you already have a degree in something else. I will be using examples from the University of Cape Town and the University of the Witwatersrand, even though that I believe that other universities that offer the medical degree may also have similar options. Now, joining from year two of medicine. This is an option at the University of Cape Town. A small number of graduates who have completed either an approved undergraduate or postgraduate degree may be offered a place in second year provided that there is class capacity and that they have met the school subject requirements and minimum performance levels, have not failed any courses at tertiary level and have met the minimum GPA requirements. Details of minimum requirements and details in general on this are available on request from the faculty admissions office which can be requested from the email on screen. Joining Year 3 of Medicine This is an option at the University of the Witwatersrand. WIT has a program called the Graduate Entry Medical Program, GEMP. The GEMP allows entry of suitably qualified applicants who meet certain minimum requirements into the third year of their medical degree. This gives these students the opportunity to complete their undergraduate medical studies in a period of four years. Minimum requirements for GEMP consideration are as follows. Number one, a completed undergraduate degree at a minimum of bachelor's or bachelor of technology degree level with an average of at least 60% over the final two completed years of study. National diplomas, technical diplomas, certificates, and similar qualifications will not be considered for entry. They also accept applications from applicants who are in their final year of study towards their current university degrees. Number two, science requirements, all of which are compulsory. 50% for first year university degree level biology. Equivalent courses such as anatomy, physiology, zoology, life sciences, and similar university courses will also be considered. 50% for first year university degree level physics, and 50% for first year university degree level chemistry. Number three, there are mathematics requirements. One of these is a must. 60% for matric mathematics or 50% for mathematics at first year university degree level. Language requirements. One of these is a must. 60% for matric English home language or first additional language or 50% for English at first year university degree level. There are no NBT requirements. 
Meeting the entry academic requirements is not enough to get accepted into the GEMP. Applicants need to write the VIT's additional placement test, the WAPT. The WAPT is a selection test for the GEMP that is written only once per year, and the test is only open to invited GEMP applicants. Applicants prepare for this test purely by self-study. The content covered in the WAPT are related to the courses covered by medical students in their second year of study, and the knowledge is essential for future success in the degree. The test covers three main fields of study, human anatomy, human physiology, and molecular medicine. In order to qualify for entry into the GEMP, an applicant has to pass all three components of the WAPT. Candidates who fail one or more components will be notified that their application is unsuccessful and that they will no longer be considered. This decision is final and not open for any reconsideration under any circumstances. The remaining applicants will be placed on a waiting list until such time that the candidates that are still completing their studies have had the opportunity to submit their final academic transcripts. Once this deadline has passed and the actual number of available places have been determined, the applications will be ranked and the top rated applicants will be offered a place in the program, while the other applicants will be classified as unsuccessful. If you're finding this video informative so far, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Now let's have a look at the curriculum. Year 1 up till Year 3 are the theoretical years, and Year 1 is likely to have some combination of the following. A basic and foundation science for medicine, becoming a professional, a language such as English, Isizulu, Afrikaans, Isthosa, etc. Computer literacy, longitudinal clinical attachment, molecule to organism, chemistry, science and worldviews, people and their environment, introduction to clinical pharmacotherapy, molecular and cell biology, medical terminology, physics, special study module, introduction to integrated health sciences, sociological foundations of health, psychological foundations of health, and system dynamics for medical students. Year two is likely to have some combination of the following. Community and evidence-based practice, homeostasis, coordination, protection, and control, longitudinal clinical attachment, people and their environment, pathological conditions, infectious diseases, introduction to clinical medicine, basic emergency care, anatomy, generic procedural skills, and becoming a doctor. Year three is likely to have some combination of the following. Mental health and neuromusculoskeletal problems, reproductive health, blood and AI, infectious diseases and AIDS, integrated approach to illness, cardinal symptoms of disease, introduction to research and evidence-based practice, abdomen and mama, pregnancy and neonatology, heart and blood vessels, lungs and chest, hematological malignancies, and elective, generic procedural skills. Year four to year six are the clinical years, and year four is likely to have some combination of the following. Integrated medicine, integrated primary care, child health, integrated obstetrics and gynecology, integrated acute care, introductory integrated medicine, genital and urinary tract diseases, nervous system, disorders of childhood, forensic medicine, musculoskeletal conditions, endocrinology, head and neck, aging, skin, clinical languages, anesthesia, obstetrics, ward care, ambulatory care, pharmacology and applied therapeutics, neonatology, introduction to child and adolescent health, and health in context. Year five is likely to have some combination of the following. Integrated surgical practice, psychiatry and social dysfunction, health and healthcare, traumatology, internal medicine, neurology, pediatric surgery, pediatric medicine, surgery, pharmacology and applied therapeutics, trauma, orthopedic surgery, dermatology, rheumatology, neurology and neurosurgery, ophthalmology, otorhinolaryngology, and urology. Year six, the final year, is likely to have some combination of the following. Community-based education, 
diagnostic laboratory medicine, urology, family medicine, community obstetrics, medicine, obstetrics, pediatrics and child health, neonatal medicine, family medicine and palliative medicine, psychiatry and mental health, a long elective and a short elective. Finishing year six is still not the end. There are three additional years before being allowed to practice medicine freely and or before being allowed to do postgraduate studies. There are two years of internship followed by one year of community service. For these three years, you will be employed by the National Department of Health of South Africa and only after these three years will you be eligible for registration as an independent medical practitioner with the Health Professions Council of South Africa. No need to worry though, as an intern and during a community service, you will be getting paid. After these nine years, you're considered a full-fledged doctor. You can work in private practice, in hospitals or other medical institutions, for NGOs or for the government, in research, in academics, or for insurance or pharmaceutical companies. Or you could study further, that is specialize, which is at least another three years of school. I'll be dropping a video explaining how to specialize in medicine in a few days to a week. So stick around on the channel to see that video. Click here to find out how you can specialize in medicine in South Africa. I'll update that once I've uploaded the video. Or click here to find out how you can become a lawyer in South Africa. That's it you guys. The medical degree explained good and proper. Thanks for watching. Do check out my other videos. And as always, mischief managed.